and welcome to Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. This is a podcast series where I get to meet with industry professionals and chat about what's going on in the world of logistics. You can see all of our episodes of Coffee with Crane, as well as our Spanish language podcast, Cafe Con Crane, on our YouTube channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button and you'll never miss an episode. And if you want to join me for an episode of Coffee with Crane, simply email me at joseph.patrick at craneww.com. Now, in this episode, a frequent guest to the show and our favorite development manager from Canada, Scott Bowman. Welcome to Coffee with Crane, Scott. Good morning, Joseph. Thank you very much for having me. Always a pleasure. We love having you on, sir. Now, once again, we like to start with a fun question. So, when you're not making excellence a habit, what do you like to do for fun? Joseph, while the body still cooperates, I like to play hockey 12 months of the year. How do you do that? How do you, all the bumps and bruises and... You know what? It's kind of ingrained in us Canadians. Uh, you know, usually you take the summer months off, but over time they always uh, seem to increase these adult hockey leagues. So you join and you play as long as you possibly can. That's the spirit. Just keep going while you can. That's it. All right. Well, let's get down to business, Scott. Can you share with us any recent accomplishments that y'all have had over there in Canada? Yeah, I would say that as we continue to grow as a station, Joseph, we are accomplishing many tasks that in the past we weren't provided an opportunity to complete. Uh, for instance, uh, in Canada, we're developing where we have our own trucks, much like the teams in the U.S. Very nice. uh, and, and also um, uh, one of the key uh, components that has changed also is our export services for some of our very large clients. Now, you just mentioned that you're accomplishing tasks and providing export services. Can you give us any more detail into what all your team's doing there? Well, Joseph, near and dear to my heart, you just mentioned team. We now have the correct team in place with the collective goal of pushing each other to be better for Crane, our customer, and ourselves. It is a team effort, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> now, Scott, you're a development manager. In your role, what challenges do you often encounter? I would say that, uh, you know, all the challenges I encounter are good challenges, uh, that uh, they would be trying to accommodate all types of clients. Okay, well, now I got to know, uh, without mentioning names, of course, what's been the most exciting or fulfilling challenge that you faced accommodating a client? Well, believe it or not, the most exciting one is still ongoing, and it was provided through the web by our marketing team. So it's been fun to build that relationship as you see it grow throughout its process. Well, the marketing team and I appreciate that plug, Scott. Thanks so much. <laughs> now, in our last episode together, we talked about Canada's imports and exports as well as CARM. And I understand there's been some updates. Can you fill us in on that? Yeah, that's correct, Joseph. Uh, just a quick reminder for Canadian imports, a client will need to obtain a business number, which is similar to a U.S. tax ID from the CRA, which is required when they complete their power of attorney. Regarding exporting from Canada, they will also need to have that business number to be active when using the Canadian Export Reporting System, which is SIRS. Now, for those of us who aren't in the know, what, is, what does CRA stand for? Now, tax time would be uh, when you would always hear from the CRA. They, uh, CRA stands for the Canada Revenue Agency. So it's kind of like our IRS here in the States. Exactly. All right. Have you had any implementation dates change uh, for CARM? Yes. Regarding the uh, CBSA Assessment and Revenue Management, CARM initiative, sorry, it's always a mouthful, that <laughs> some of the implement implementation dates have changed. Uh, R1 uh, started on May 25th of 2021, which, which was primarily for the registration and delegation of the online client service portal. And now R2, which was originally supposed to uh, start in May of 2022, is now going to release no earlier than January of 2023. Uh, this is where there'll be an introduction of additional functionality for the, all the trade chain partners. Additional functionalities, like what, for example? One of the functions will be the electronic declarations that will replace our B3s, which is a 7501 in the U.S., okay. and a B2 form, which is a refund form. Uh, additionally, one of the most important and slash different uh, functions will be that all importers, resident and non-resident, will be required to obtain their own account security. In the world of logistics, things are constantly changing, uh, these new laws, these new rules, things of that nature. How long do you think it's going to take to get up to speed with all these new requirements? So if an importer has followed along the CARM path, 
and they have registered in the client uh, in the client portal and okay. attended multiple CBSA webinars and inquired with their customs brokers for the next steps regarding what is required. I would say you could look between an eight to 12 week completion date if they follow along the steps. If they follow along the steps. If they follow along the steps. And we understand and everybody in the marketplace understands that sometimes these dates change and you got to be able to pivot and flexible. So we're here to help as much as we possibly can. Most excellent. Now, at the time of the recording of this episode, uh, the Russian and Ukraine conflict is having, of course, a massive impact on many people. How is this event affecting Canada's logistics workings right now? Uh, the conflict, you know, Joseph, is extremely concerning on many levels. Right. Uh, from a logistical standpoint for Canada, we must stay vigilant uh, on where we are conducting business and with whom. Thank you for that, Scott. Uh, any final thoughts? Yeah, so what I would say, Joseph, anybody out there who wants to speak to somebody from Crane Canada, they can reach out to our managing director, Sean Crawford. He will assist with any inquiry and ensure the proper team members are involved to support. Any questions regarding uh, CARM or customs in general in Canada, they can reach out to Vincent Basaki or myself, and we'd be happy to help. You got a heck of a team over there, Scott. You ought to be proud. Thanks, Joseph. We keep, uh, we keep striving to be better every single day. Once again, thanks for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Crane. Always sharing and being very generous with your time and wisdom. Always a pleasure, Joseph. Anytime. And thank you to the listener for tuning into this episode of Coffee with Crane. Be sure to subscribe to Coffee with Crane on your favorite podcast player. And to get all of our episodes of Coffee with Crane, as well as our Spanish language version, Cafe Con Crane, go to craneww.com and look for us in the Knowledge Center tab or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to join me for an episode of Coffee with Crane, simply reach out to me at joseph.patrick at craneww.com. So, until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting here for you on the next episode of Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now.